Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will understand what is set analysis and why we need to use set analysis in clay. To save our time, I have created a sample application and there are few tables I have created for sales. These tables are based on different dimensions like country, customer, order year, order quarter, order date. Set analysis is actually a way of defining data values which will differ from the current selections. First see this table. This table representing total sales by country. If I will select say country, these four countries, then all our tables now change based on those selections. So when you do a selection, our aggregated functions like sum, mean, max, we have used sum of sales here. So what I will do, I will remove the label so you will know what exactly the expressions we have used. So our aggregation functions like sum, mean, max, average, count, whenever any selection is made in click, those aggregation functions will aggregate over the selections we have made. So if I will select customer now, so now my sum of sales aggregation functions is doing grouping, aggregating of sales based on customer and country, which I have selected here. So whenever we will do any selections in click, our aggregation functions will consider those selections and give us the aggregated result. The same way, if I will select say order year equal to 2021, then all click objects will show us the result of order year 2021. But say in some cases we want to create some objects or measure which are independent of our current selection. So say I want to show year 2022 that is the current year. So current year sales which will be independent of the selections means even though I will select 2021, it will still show me the result of 2022. This is possible by set analysis. By using set analysis, we can define the group which is independent of the current selection. I will remove these selections and then I will create a KPI. I will say if order year equal to 2022 then only give me sales and now I will say sum of all my sales so that it will give me group of all the sales. And I am getting here 214825. This is for my year 2022 which you can see from here. So this is my aggregation function here with if statement. Now, when I select customer, say I am selecting these four customers. So, I am getting sales 10140, 10140, which is you can see from the bottom left table. This is exactly working as per our expectation. But, as soon as you select year 2021, this data is becoming zero. Why? Because order year 2022 which we have defined here is responding with your current selection and the sum which is your aggregated function is giving you result of the selected year. Even though we have mentioned order year equal to 2022 still you are not getting value of 2022. So to overcome this issue click has created set analysis. By using set analysis you can predefined order year which will be independent from the current selection. I will use set analysis here in the second KPI and I will show you the syntax. So I want sales curly bracket start curly bracket end inside less than and greater than sign and in between this we have to mention our order year order year equal to 2022 which you have to mention again inside the curly bracket and between the curly bracket start and less than sign dollar sign 
This is the syntax of click set analysis. Step by step, we will see how to replace 2022 by dynamic year. But first, we will see what is the output of this result. So the output is 10140. If you remove order year from here, you can see for these customers, we have 10140. If I will remove all the selections, then I am getting 214825 for year 2022. We are getting the same result for set analysis and the upper KPI where we have used if statement. This both will give you the same result for all the selections. Say I am selecting category, you are getting the same result. I am selecting supplier, getting the same result. But as soon as you select order year 2020, you can see the previous KPI which we have created using if statement is now showing value 0 because our selected year is 2020 and we have mentioned order year equal to 2022 here. But the second KPI where we have used set analysis and mentioned that order year equal to 2022, this will not consider the selections which we have made in order year. Because order year is now predefined here as 2022 and it is independent of the current selection made in order year. This is how click set analysis is working. We have mentioned 2022 here as a static value to convert 2022 as dynamic because next year it will be 2023 and we need this current year should come as a dynamic. To do that, I will create another KPI and I will mention here equal to year today. So today's year, it will give me 2022. I will say here measure expression. So I am getting 2022, which I have to replace here inside the set expression. To replace this one, I simply cannot write like this year today, because you can see here we are getting error. Whenever you want to use any measure as a set expression value, you have to use dollar sign expansion to evaluate it. The same way we are using dollar sign expansion to evaluate any variable. So here I have to use this dollar sign expansion and inside bracket I will mention year today. Please don't forget to use equal sign otherwise it will not work. So what click will do here? First of all, before giving you the end result of this expression, it will try to find out is there any dollar sign expansion mentioned here or not. If it is there, then it will first evaluate dollar sign expansion. So you can see now we are getting result dollar year today equal to 2022. And then you will get the result of whole expression. So now you are getting 8108, which is the same which we were getting before. But now your current year is dynamic. So in short, by using set analysis, you can define a set of values which is independent from the current selections. I will remove bottom one and the top one KPI. And now we will discuss so this KPI where we have defined order year equal to current year by set analysis. We have only defined order year. We haven't defined any other field. So when you select any other field, you can see this KPI is reflecting according to the current selection. Anything you can select anything. But the KPI value will not change based on the selection in order year. But if, if I select month year, say January 2020, it will be zero because January 2020 is not falling inside the current year. We haven't defined month year, order month year in our set expression. So set expression result will reflect according to the current selection apart from the field which we have mentioned in set analysis. 
So if I will mention here say category, category is audio. I did some adjustment. I make this KPI a bit wider so that you can see the whole expression here. So now if I will use category here as well. So I will say now I want to predefine category. So I have to use category here and I will say audio. I am using single quote because category is in string. And what result I am getting? I will get result as sum of sales where category equal to audio and order year is equal to current year. So to verify this one, I can select category equal to audio and year equal to current year 2022. So now you can see the total is 20114. If I will remove the selection, you will still get 20114. So by adding category equal to audio here, now we have predefined category and predefined order year both. So if you select order year or category, this end result will not change. So if I will say category equal to this, you can see we are still getting 20114 and even if I will select order year equal to 2021, we are still getting 20114 because order year and category is now predefined in set analysis. So they are independent of the current selections made in order year and category. Hope you understand how set analysis is working. Let's add one more thing. I will say country equal to Canada. I will add here country equal to Canada. So I have to use single quote because country value is in string. So I am getting 3755. I will select 2022. I will say country is Canada and only audio. So I will select category equal to audio. So now you can see the result is 3755. I will remove all the selections and still will get 3755. So now we have predefined three fields, order year, category and country. So any selections made in these three fields will not change the end result of this KPI. So if I will say category equal to, if I will select any other category, the end result will not change. But if I will select any product, it will reflect. It will reflect to the end result because product is not a part of our set analysis predefined field. So hope this is clear how we can use set analysis in click. Now we will talk about components of set analysis. There are three major components of set analysis. To do that one, first I will create another expression. I will say I will say I want sales of current year. So current year sales is 4362 and I will remove all the filters. So now it's a 214825. You can see from bottom corner table. 214825 is the sales of current year. Now say my requirement is I want sales of current year plus sales of Canada across all years. Then I am talking about something like this sum of sales of Canada means country equal to Canada. Now we have two different aggregation functions. One is for sum of sales for current year where we have order year is predefined and second one is sum of sales for Canada where we have country predefined. We are getting result 290327. First we will verify the result. Okay, I will open an excel file here. Okay, first of all, sum of sales for current year. It is 214825. Now, second one is sum of sales for country Canada across all years. 
now we are not saying for the second expression we are not saying sales for current year only it will be sales for country canada for all years so canada sales for all year is 75502 you can see it from here 75502 So, so the total sales we should get here as two nine zero three two seven. So this is how we are getting two nine zero three two seven. But if you select Canada here, you can see we have eight thousand four hundred and fifty sales for current year. So that means this seven five five zero two is also included eight four five zero, and this sales is also included eight four five zero. So eight four five zero is coming two times here. The actual sales should come something like that. So Canada sales is seven five five zero two, and current year sales is two one four eight two five. And because eight four five zero is repeating here and here as well, I have to remove once. So the total sales should come two eight one eight seven seven. so to do that i will do little change in set analysis i will copy this portion of set analysis between less than and greater than sign and i will mention it here and i will say plus and i will make it new expression something like this so now when i use this expression the end result is 281877 which is exactly what we are looking for so now we will understand the three major component of set analysis from this expression the whole expression is set expression the dollar sign which we have mentioned here between curly bracket and less than sign this is called as set identifier we will see more about set identifier in next few videos the plus sign you have used here the plus sign we have used here is called as set operators we can use plus multiplication sign minus sign division sign as a set operators and anything which we are mentioning inside this curly bracket or say inside this less than and greater than sign here we have mention order year equal to today's year with dollar sign expansion here we have used country equal to canada this is actually called as set modifiers so there are three components of set expression this is whole a set expression dollar sign is set identifier plus is set operators and the field value which we are predefining is called set modifier please note down that set identifier is actually which we are defining before the less than sign but the dollar sign which we have used to define the field value this is not actually a set modifier this dollar sign here is used as a dollar sign expansion so hope you understand now what is set analysis why we need set analysis how to write set analysis what are the three major components of set analysis in next few videos we will create set expressions for year to date sales previous year to date sales month to date sales previous month to date sales and so on till then thanks and have a great day